from Lindawa High School. This is the Morning Roar with anchors Kashia Walton and Corey Works. Meteorologist Quentin Baker and the 411 with Quentin Baker. I'm Corey Works. Welcome to today's broadcast of the Morning Roar. And I'm Chad Walton. Today is Thursday, May 14th. The Science Club will have the rocket relaunch on Thursday, May 21st at the school. If you did not participate in the first launch and would like to build a rocket this time around, see Mr. Callow, Mr. Morgan for instructions. All are welcome. This year's prom is a great Gatsby team. It will be held on Friday, June 5th from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. at the Mansion of Ruiz. Prom tickets will go on sale Monday, May 11th at Mrs. Vaughn's office before and after school. Ticket prices are $80 per person. You must have cash, no checks will be accepted. Ticket sales will end on Friday, May 29th. If you are bringing a day from another school, you will need to have that person interviewed by an administrator. See Mrs. Vaughn or Mrs. Keaton with any questions. Attention students, we are still in a state of emergency with our community service hours here at Linnawall High School. As of April 17th, only 22%, that's 119 students in this entire building have turned in their community service hour form this, so far this school year. You must earn 10 hours of community service every school year in order to move on to the next grade or to graduate. This is what you need to do. Pick up a community service hour form from the main office, complete a community service hour activity, have the person in charge of the activity, sign your form, finish filling out the form, return in to Mrs. Martin, an assistant principal in the main office. Repeat this process until you have earned 10 hours of community service. If you have any questions, see your coach, advisor, teacher, counselor, or Ms. Martin. Lindawall High School's Red Cross Club presents a community movie night. We'll be showing Paul Blart's and Mark Cop. Children under 13 must be attended by an adult. This event is Friday, May 29th at 6 p.m. in the LHS Auditorium. Price is free. Beverages and snacks will be available for purchase. Attention Hispanic Culture Club. Sign-ups for the next, next year's officer election are now available outside Ms. Kelly's classroom. Make sure you read the task required to fill the position before you sign up. See Mrs. Kelly for more information. The football team will be hosting a bowling night out Wednesday, June 10th from 6 to 8 p.m. Tickets are on sale for $12 and include two hours of bowling, pizza, and soda. See Coach McGurl for any questions. Attention Lady Lions, there will be a mandatory field hockey meeting Monday, May 18th. Any student interested in playing field hockey for the upcoming season must attend. Please meet in room D204 at the school on Monday, May 18th. Leo Club will meet on Thursday, May 14th in E201 directly after school. See Mr. Carlo or Mr. Morgan with any questions or concerns. Attention all juniors, senior portraits will be taking place on June 1st and June 2nd of this year. Please see your scheduled time posted on the main office window. Any student interested in running for student council executive office must turn in their forms to Ms. Heineman by Friday, May 15th. Please see Ms. Heineman in D106 for an information packet. Attention, any girls interested in playing soccer next year, there will be an informational meeting June 18th right at the school in room E206. Please see Ms. Jones with any questions. It's time for the weather. Now let's go to a meteorologist. I'm Quentin Baker with today's forecast. Today we'll have sunny skies with a high of 74 and a low of 52, with winds coming from the west at six miles per hour. Now let's take a look at the five day forecast. Yeah. On Friday, we'll have mostly cloudy skies with temperatures at a high of 76 and a low of 59. On Saturday, we'll have thunderstorms with a high of 87 and a low of 64. On Sunday, we'll have isolated thunderstorms with a high of 87 and a low of 61. On Monday, we'll have isolated thunderstorms with a high of 82 and a low of 61. We'll wrap up our five-day forecast with Tuesday. We'll have rain with a high of 82 and a low of 61. Now, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Quentin Baker with your 401. It's that time again for another For Real Moment brought to you by Mr. Flip's Community Spotlight Club. 
For real? Did you know, in 1984, God's greatest creation of man was made rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer, and actor Tremaine Aldon Neverson, but you may know him as Trey Songs, was born November 28, 1984. 1984 was said to be the best draft in NBA history. It produced four Hall of Famers and seven All-Stars. This also made it a good year for the Chicago Bulls as they selected Michael Jordan third overall. However, it wasn't such a good year for Paul and Linda McCartney. Their vacation home was raided by police, and they were arrested for possession of cannabis. Robert L. Stewart went on the first untethered spacewalk. Bob Marley died in 1981. His album, Legend, was released in 1984. It was said to be the best reggae record of all time. The 1984 presidential election was between Ronald Reagan and Walter F. Mondale, ending with Ronald Reagan being the president with an electoral vote of 525 to 13. Super Bowl 18 was on January 22, 1984, against the Washington Redskins and the Los Angeles Raiders. The game ended with the Redskins winning by a score of 38 to 9. This has been your For Real Moment. For real? I'm Corey Works. And I'm Kashi Awad, and you say classic in the world. Thank you for watching today's telecast of the Morning Roar. This show is produced by the students of LHS TV. Watch this and other shows at LHSTV.com.